G'day, this is Warbles in the Wilderness series, number seven. This one's called Hypothetical God Theory. And it was originally written as a rant against abortion. And I've only ever performed it in public on four occasions, and each one of those four occasions was at a funeral. And each time, the congregation burst into spontaneous applause at the end of the poem. So, although it is said, that people who read their works in public may have other nasty habits. This is one that I've never actually learned for recital. So I'm going to have to go and read this, but it's something that uh, it should be out there because I think I've actually captured a little bit of truth that people enjoy knowing about, particularly at times of high emotion and grief. Hypothetical God Theory a soul is once conceived and never dies, and through the matrix of space-time it flies. On a self-directed helical track, it's one way only, never back. A soul is once created and never dies, first grows itself a body in which it lies. Building to a two-part chromosomal plan, it grows to be a woman or a man. A soul is once conceived and never dies, the first seven years alive it tries, to absorb, full trusting, all it's taught, and if taught wrong, thus bears no fault. A soul is once created and never dies, until fourteen then, with open eyes, learns with some choice on what to focus, but still needs grown-ups for its locus. A soul is once conceived and never dies, and if grown twisted, when fed lies, still grows to be an adult, free to choose, on what to keep and what to lose. A soul is once created and never dies. Life's a learning curve on which one tries to use one's time as a gift and not to waste creation in one's fear and haste. A soul is once conceived and never dies and what that really signifies, already learned from each near miss and narrow squeak a body's cast aside once past its spiritual peak. A soul is once created and never dies, though its body always putrefies. Physical life is kindergarten for the soul, matters not what's buried in a hole. A soul is once conceived and never dies, life's choices all recorded without lies. What's written there cannot be fudged, the consequence of each and every act is judged. Hypothetical God Theory, written on the 1st of the 10th, 1996. My thoughts on the nature of the human soul and its journey. From Bush Poems by Chris Wharton. ISBN number 0646306674X Published in 1996. Probably find a copy of it in the Australian National Library in Canberra. In fact, I'm sure you will.